treat as it's the end of the year so this is a flex ray signal and it's so fast i've had to use a probe with 10 times resolution because the normal probe just simply won't cut the mustard i've got an f11 here and i wasn't going to make a video about it because I, I assumed it was going to be an issue with the air suspension because they were saying the car goes up stays up and sometimes it's too low and <clears throat> usually it's air suspension but guess what i've just been to the car and we've got a fault with the flex ray bus now flex ray is a super fast bus it's faster than cam bus Nowadays, you don't use it because we've got CAN FD, CAN flexible data. And CAN FD is pretty much as, as, fa as fast, I think, almost as fast as FlexRay. But it's much cheaper than FlexRay. FlexRay is dead expensive. So you won't see FlexRay so much these days. When it goes wrong, it can be a bit of a pain. So let me explain what's happened. On the car, you've got four satellite dampers. And the satellite dampers are electronically controlled buy a control unit and they can adjust the bump the rebound and all that they're quite cool they're quite sporty but they're dead expensive so what's happened on this car is you've basically ripped them off at the front because they cost too much to replace over a thousand quid each and they've put coil overs on as you'll see in the video and they tried to cold all the system off left the flex ray open so the vertical dynamic management computer doesn't work because it needs a terminating resistor you'll see that in this video and overall it's just a, a show basically so let's carry on and you'll see how we get on with it. But there's one huge problem I've just noticed. I could be right, I could be wrong, but you know, mechanics hunch is always right. Check this out and I'll explain a bit more. So when you see them, they're non-standard suspension nuts. And what that means to me, in my opinion, is someone's put coilovers on it. Ordinarily, all these faults now, okay, height sensor measuring voltage, we need to look at that, maybe that's tied into this. When you look at, so it hasn't got a ride height adjustment. A lot of problems with the suspension, hasn't it? But if you look at this now, flex ray fault, path six. Rear left sensors, not valid. So it's not measuring the ride height, they're not valid. And that's the issue, we've got no comms with vertical dynamic management. Yeah, it's exactly as I said, it's got coilovers fitted to it. It's got little bags on to protect the threads. Coilovers are sure as the wrong dampers, aren't they? So, what they've done by putting this coil over on, that's like a BC racing one. It's cheaper and you can save money, but the issue is, now they've taped it up, that's good. Oh, they haven't taped that one above, and I guess this is the one that we've got the main problem. So you've probably got water in there. The danger of doing this though, unfortunately, is that the flex ray, which is the green and pink one there, you've no terminating resistor, so the whole circuit needs to be balanced. And if there's no resistor, you're gonna have no comms. So what I've ended up doing is, luckily last week I got some resistors, I put 100 ohm resistor there. Not so important that one. What's most important is this one, because I'll go through a diagram again and I'll show you why that's important. So by putting that across the flex ray, we've basically closed an open circuit and we're now allowing the, the VDM to communicate, which it didn't do before. Right, we've got VDM comms now. They're not connected, so that's okay, but we've got VDM comms, which is fantastic. Well, that's pretty good capturing it. We'll be all right with that. So if we pull the terminating resistor out now from the front right. What that's going to do, it's going to sever the vertical dynamic management system's connection to the flex ray bus. And in theory, there will be no bus or it'll be a very bad signal. So let's go ahead and do that right now and see what happens. Remember, this is the resistor I added because there is no dampers anymore. Let's take that out and see what happens. As you can see, the signal is now completely distorted. Why is it distorted like that? Well, this resistor is needed <coughs> to prevent these signal reflections. So the signal's there, but you've got this signal reflection here. See that massive big peak there? It's not ice, is it? So that signal now is completely not readable, is it? So here's an extremely rudimentary and terrible diagram. I'm not an artist and I'm a terrible writer too. But let me explain what it is. That's the right front suspension leg. That's the right rear suspension leg. Now, remember, we have coilovers now. We don't have this, but we have this. So the way the system works is the reason the VDM couldn't communicate, because, you know, you're communicating through the gateway module with things like this, is when they took the suspension leg out, they took the 90 ohm resistor away, didn't they? So what I did was... I added, I added, we just got the burr wires here. I added my own resistor, 100 ohm, across there. And that's the reason why then we had comms with EDM, because if you think it's just two wires, flex ray, goes into gateway module as a loop, comes out, 
and it's just the two suspension legs are connected to the VDM and the gateway module. But when you have no resistor, you have all them horrible signal reflections. Remember, they kind of looked like that, didn't they? Them weird signal reflections in the scope trace. So that's why adding that resistor there restored comms. But what we're going to do now is we're going to code everything off the cat so it doesn't exist anymore. So essentially, the only reason I'm doing all that messing around with the flex ray is just to show you what our flex ray works. Because in reality, we don't need that flex ray anymore because we're going to delete everything off the car. But what we need to do, we need to close port six down. That where I've just mentioned there and I've measured and I put the resistor on to get it working again. Is an open port on the gateway module for those right hand side dampers and the VDM module. Well, we need to close that off. And that's what the other garage experts, buddy BMW experts haven't done. They've coded the system off the car, but they haven't closed the flex ray port down, so it's always going to be open, it's always going to be looking for something, and it's always going to have fault codes. And that's also the reason why in the vehicle tree we have those orange four dampers and then the VDM, because they've been coded off, but the flex ray path six hasn't been uh, coded off, and we need to use some special software for that, which we have. So we're going to go into the gateway module, I'm not going to show that, and we're going to basically code all that off, and then in theory at the end of the job, we set the ride height and I've bent, bent them brackets somewhat into shape. We should then see we don't have any orange stuff. They'll just be disappeared as though they never existed. So let's carry on. Well, basically, that bracket's bent for a start. So that's going to need a new bracket, isn't it? Electrically, we've got a problem, but we've got a physical problem with brackets. It's like that X5 I did last week, if you recall. That's like completely knackered. I don't know what the hell's... Oh, Jesus, it's, it's full of water. Sometimes only a bench vice will do when it, when it comes to, you know, trying to straighten up my other people's bloody stupidity. Alright, so we're going to reassemble this bad boy now. A bit of luck, it'll be right, won't it? Because it's the 31st and it's time for a new year. Probably more, another year of bullshit. Hey ho, at least I have 10,000 followers. A bit awkward position, but the bracket looks straighter, doesn't it? Yeah, so looking at that, the vehicle order, it doesn't have anything in there in terms of, for the suspension system, it doesn't have uh, EDC in it. So it has been took off. It's a fully loaded job, isn't it? But it's been took off, so that's kind of a good thing, really, isn't it? So the goal now is, there's two goals, actually. The one goal is once we've took the fuse out and we try and do now this um, initialization of flex ray again, because this, it's all been coded out, that EDC system. This, in theory, should disappear, as should a lot of the other fault codes. Um, but what we then need to do is we need to fix this ICM, carry out the ride height adjustment, because that's not looking so good. The signal being invalid rear right. I think we've got an issue there. Well, the first fuse was F45. They haven't pulled that out for the VDM. So that's one thing they haven't done. So now I've took that out. And now we need to set the other fuse out. We finally managed to do it as you can see now we don't have those control modules we don't have the suspension we don't have the vdm it's completely coded off and as i said it was coded off but they haven't coded it off properly simple as that then basically on the flex ray this path six that was open circuit what we actually ended up doing was uh with our special software we went into the flex ray system through the gateway module and what we did there's a port for path six we turned it off and by turning that port off and then recoding the um, ICM module, which was giving us a lot of trouble with the ride height sensors, we were able then to properly code the system out and tech the suspension legs and the VDM module away from the vehicle tree. Well, this is a bit better than the other day, innit, when it came to me. So, a nice rest over here. Now it's fixed. So, essentially, everyone's happy. So it's all fixed now. So what's the moral of this story? Well, the moral of the story is don't take your car to garages that don't know what they're doing. And if you're a garage that thinks you know what you're doing, but obviously you don't know shit about anything, then don't think that you can just get some sort of, how can you say, counterfeit BMW software, ESIS and stuff like that, Tool 32, which they probably didn't use, and think you can fix it. Because just going on forums and like asking some like other people who probably don't know about anything, like how to do it, uh, isn't a way to do it is it you need to know how, how systems work you can't delete one thing and then not delete everything 